This is Science Max. Experiments at large. Science Max! We're gonna make a spool racer, and it's pretty simple. Here's all you need. You need some science ribbon. Now, if you don't have science ribbon, you can use regular ribbon, but the ribbon really isn't important. It's the spool that's important. You'll also need a washer, elastics, pencil or pencil crayon, popsicle or craft stick, and science tape. Science tape is the same as invisible tape, except I use this one only for science. Here's how you build it. Break the popsicle stick so it's smaller than the diameter of the spool. Then put the elastics on top of the pencil and pull them tight, thread the popsicle stick through, and feed it all through the hole of the spool. Grab the elastics on the other side and pull out the pencil and everything will be threaded perfectly. Then stick on the washer and thread the pencil through. Finally, tape the popsicle stick down so it doesn't move. And if any of these steps are a little too fast, don't worry, all of the instructions are up on the website. That was cool. I, oh, I can't. I can't make it go away. I can only make it come up. So there you go, a spool racer. And here's how it works. You spin the pencil around, and that twists the elastic. Now that elastic is gonna wanna unwind, right? So just keep spinning that pencil around until it's good and tight. And then when you put it on the ground, the pencil's gonna wanna unwind, but it can't because the table's in the way now, which means that the energy is gonna transfer to the spool, which is gonna turn, whoa, and it's gonna drive away. Yeah, let's try it out for real. So why does this work? It works because the elastic is coiled, right? Yes, and because I'm putting in the energy to twist it. You see, I'm putting in effort to spin this pencil crayon around, and then when I've finished, all of my effort has been stored in the elastic. When I let it go, my energy transfers into movement. <laughs>